Hi, I'm Arunode and I'm from Kadira. And today I'm going to show you how to create a Redux application in a different way. So this uses a new kind of router and, and the new directory layout and some, some other utilities. And let's see if it's going to help us or oh, this, this is, is this not the, the Redux way of doing things. Okay, let's have a look at it. Uh, first, uh, we have the, uh, the, so let's look at the application actually. So it's a simple blog application, blog, blog site. So now I can simply go to the pages and come back and I can inside those pages I can switch my pages it's pretty standard okay and one of the coolest thing is so it uses a new kind of router so before that let's look at the page layout so here we have the index file it created the store and configure routes and the render the the templates to the DOM and this is, if you look at this there's a new one called configure routes this is much different from the others so let's look at the the configure out what it does. I'm actually looking at the store. It's getting the, it's getting the store the store, and there's it's defining a route. So it has a route store, and there's a name for the route, and there's a path definition. So what's the important? What is the difference about this route? Is it's actually uh, dispatch an action to this this store when the route changes. So that only does it doesn't handle rendering or anything else. It's simply dispatch actions and it that's the task of the router and i think that's very good for the redux so if you look at the uh, let's see how the actions format so let's uh, commit the the current uh, state okay so then let's go back to the new route so if, if i'm looking at this action there's a new action called route underscore change so we, it has the uh, name and the path and the parameters so in the post id here this two and path definition if we need it so based on that action i can do something okay so so that's how the the router works and then you might wonder how can i actually render the uh, this my component to the, the page and that's part of the module that's part of the layout the layout is also the simple kind of the component simple thing which is a reducer so let's look at the reducers of this is my root reducer so here we have three sections layout single post and post list in my state so i'm managing these three 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 uh, sub parts using three these three reducers so if you look at the layout reducer okay um, one of the thing is it's actually looking for the route change action and if the action's name is single post it can say it said the content as the action name and the post id uh, as the the post id coming from the proud parameters and other otherwise it will simply set the content as the name so that's this reducer and if you put the view okay and it's simply uh, this is my header my blog and the footer and if uh, on the on the body section it's actually looking for the my uh, content setting by this set by this reducer and look by looking at that one it actually render the the actual components so this is very straightforward layout so if we need a much complex one actually it's very easy to do okay and that's only the 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 task of the layout it's simply manage a layout that's a, that's it based on the route information um okay that's how the page rendering works and the next thing is how these uh, actually the post layout and these this post list and single port actually get the data and sh see things so if you if you watch this uh, my directory structure carefully uh, there is no uh, directories for the each in action action creators and uh, reducers and the component so i, I group uh, common uh, reducers and the component actions into the single directory and I call the module and by doing that it's very easy to work with new feature and a couple of things i just only need to worry about the single directory right let's look at the post list and here we have the action called actually a uh, post list and it's using and this action creator called load and i'm using the redux tank here and i look at the reducer it actually get the payload and simply return that payload as my post list on the my state and this is pretty straightforward and if we look at the view, we have the, the component, the dumb component here. And I, this I'm connecting that one to the my uh, st store, st normal standard way. I'm using a new dispatch. Uh, I'm using the load. I'm using load uh, action creator. 
and there's a new thing called load data this is a new utility what is actually does is and actually runs this run function only once when this component rendered so uh, i can get the data so i don't I, I don't need to create a wrapper uh component to get the data so i can simply use this function and it, it simply works right and the single post is content is also the same so the b is the actions and reduce are the pretty much the same but this is something different happening on the view and here we a section we got the uh, single post actually rendering the the post that i'm coming here and there's a new one called uh, like uh, load data and actually there's a new thing called watch what's happening is it's actually watch the post id uh, prop of this um, component and when this post id changes it actually runs this uh, this run function by doing that i can simply load the data for my component based on the this post id so i can i can add any kind of like properties props you need and based on that i can get the other props and i can simply load the data so with that one i think we could uh, actually create the dynamic data loading behavior very very easily without uh, creating much uh, higher or complex uh, wrapping images wrapping uh, components so uh, this is the the my way of uh, creating redux application and i think it's very uh, it's very simple for me and uh, i'm trying to uh, do experiment with this one um, so if you like this please uh, tell me tell me why you like this if you don't like why also tell me why you don't, you don't like it i really like to have some discussion uh, with this way of creating a redux application thank you